you got optimization here. Now, optimization, this, this, these are the big boy problems. Uh, this, this ain't no joke. So uh, let's look at it. We got a function f of x, right? And we got r. We got r of x is equal to the area. So the first thing we want to write, you know, first thing we need, we always need an equation. So let's go ahead and do this. Let me make a. We know that r of x is equal to area. Okay area and let me scroll down just a tad bit uh, let me click this just so you guys can get a visualization of what's going on here man okay so let me scroll down here uh, there we go all right, so R of X is that area, right? So we know that the area here, well, the height is going to be, let's change this. Now that we're looking at it, the height is going to be equal to F of X, right? And the base, though, the base is going to be equal to 2X, okay? And we know area is base times height, okay? Okay, let me scroll so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. Uh, let me see. Can I scroll down just a tad? All right. And how I'm getting that is that this is the base. That is the base. And this up here is the height. That is the height. You know, nice and easy. Nothing, nothing too, you know, insane. Just nice and easy. That's the height. Does that make sense? Base height, area of the rectangles, base times height. Now we can make an equation for R of X. Okay. And now we can make an equation for R of X though. Because R of X is going to be 2X times F of X. Because it was base times height. Okay. Now let's see if we can scroll up. Let's see if we can scroll up. Because I want you guys to notice something. They tell us what f of x is it's nine minus x squared they tell us that you see that they tell us that so let's scroll down a little bit let's scroll down let's put it all together i'm about to erase the screen so we got to go back you know you can you can go back all right but we know that r of x is going to be equal to 2x times 9 minus x squared and now now we're rocking and rolling and we're going to just use a little distributive property there. What's that? 18x minus, uh, what is that? 2x to the third. Now, remember, optimization, optimizing profit, okay? That's going to be a direct clue that we're doing the derivative and not the antiderivative. So I want to know R prime, and R prime is going to be equal to 18 okay minus 6x squared okay now we can uh we go ahead and factor that out we factor a little six out we got six times three minus x squared ah mm. 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 so now let's scroll down okay so i'm gonna write that because i'm gonna let me let's, let's go ahead and erase that Okay, and let's let's just rewrite that now. You got to go back. I had six, uh, three minus x squared, and I'm gonna set that equal to zero because I want to know the max. I need to know when r prime is equal to zero. Well, what that would mean is uh, six times some value equals zero, so it's not six. So this value here has to be equal to zero. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add x squared on both sides. I haven't done anything crazy. I don't even think I'm going to finish the problem. Uh, 3 equals x squared. x equals the square root of 3. Uh, and that's the answer. I ran out of time. Five minutes, y'all. Let's go.